Uh, last time we did uh, look at uh, a few definitions of capitalism and one of the definitions we looked at was uh, Sombart or if I pronounce it in a proper German way probably it would be Zombart. Um, so Zombart um, in the early 20th century historian of capitalism. He comes from German um, historical school uh, and he I, I said last time that I liked his definition. Um, he um, defined capitalism as a system which designates an economic system economic system which significantly which significantly characterized by the predominance of capital. You can listen to the previous video to see what I said about this. Um, but one of the things um, which um, I said was that I'm not sure about economic system. Because for me, capitalism is more than an economic system. Of course it's an economic system, but it's more than an economic system. So that was my reason preservation about the definition but the way he had um, defined economic system left open and I said that um, that it might we might be able to he might mean um, by economic system more than economic system because uh, because by economic system, he said he meant, uh, uh, last time we looked at by economic system, he meant uh, um, a system which is a mode of providing for material wants comprising three aspects, a mental attitude or spirit, a form of organization and a, te and a technique. So I said this last time that um, maybe the way if we look further, maybe what he means by economic system is more than economic system. And the definition is from this uh, uh, encyclopedia article which published in uh, the Encyclopedia of Social Sciences. And these further quotations are from the same article mostly. Um, so we will look at them. So, so he, by economic system he means three things. A mental attitude or spirit, a form of organization and a technique. And I'm mostly interest, interested in the first one. But we will briefly look at the second and third one as well. And I think if we look at his explanation of what he mean by mental attitude or spirit, um, <clears throat> it, becomes, it becomes clear that um, by economic system, he means something close to what we understand as um, capitalism as a civilization, capital, capitalism as a system of life or so in relation to capitalism these three aspects are described as follows so mostly this quotation from the same article so the spirit of capitalism is dominated by three ideas so now he is defining his spirit accusation competition and rationality so accusation is uh, what we said um, position is what we mean by avarice or what Keynes define as money making and money loving. Uh, 
uh, individuality or something like that. So, uh, in, a, in a more greed or avarice. So that's that's what accusation is. So, in order to, um, in order to, <clears throat> for capitalism to exist as a system of life, we need um, individuals who are filled with these uh, this characteristic, but also society uh, as well as state. Uh, okay, the second thing um, is competition. And the purpose of competition is actually, so that's the thing, competition exists to inflame, to use a bit more metaphorical language, inflames, Com competition is there to inflame and increase acquisitive drive among individuals and within society. So competition is basically a mechanism and that's what we mean when we talk about jealousy or, or covetousness um, and third thing is rationality and we'll look at what he says about it but rationality for us is Basically, it is rational to, you know, be accusative because it's according to our nature, I guess. And it is natural to compete against each other so we can accumulate more. Uh, and if this can become the sole purpose of a social system, or the dominant uh, dominant purpose of social system then that system is capitalism so um, already it looks like um, and the key part here is where he says uh, the aim of all economic activity the aim of all economic activity is not referred back to the living person so it's a rationality as such so it's an abstraction uh, the stock of material things occupies the center of the uh, economic stage and material things and finally uh, when capitalism mature so accumulation is focus on material things but finally it becomes you know comes to money and basically today uh, where accumulation really occurs is um, you know, dots in your dots in these each computers. So it's 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 becoming <laughs> um, strangely enough uh, immaterial or as immaterial as it is possible. Um, but the key uh, thing which he said that there are no limits to accuse accusation and the system exercises a psychological compulsion to boundless extension. I think this is very important um, and this is considered rational. So, so let me write this because it's so uh, important. There, there are no limits to accusation. And accumulation um, and if you that's why when people talk about maximization of profit is limited limitless because uh, there's no point which you, you will actually stop every year you will go further ahead you can't go back from the point you have already reached so there are no limits to accusation and and the system exercise and the system the the system or the civilization as a whole 
and that includes the markets that includes the uh, education system individual psyche uh, social mores etc so the system exercises a psychological psychological compulsion to boundless extension and this psychological compulsion is important for individual but this compulsion is also at the end structural because even those who are there just to in the market they are compelled to play the game because otherwise they will go bust or they will lose everything in that market so it's not just psychological compulsion um, but there is a structural compulsion and people who have written on uh, for example the 2008 crisis they have um, the best of them anyway they have pointed to both of these the psychological as well as a structural uh, compulsion so and it is boundless so accumulation has no limit accumulation if you put limits on accumulation then it is no more capitalism in its uh, proper sense then you are putting uh, you know limit to it um so capital capital is the abstraction that private businesses exist to accumulate capital capital is anything which whose sole purpose is to accumulate for the sake of accumulation accumulation the idea of such an economic system is expressed most perfectly in the endeavor to utilize that fund of exchange value which supplies the necessary substratum sub, substratum for production activity anyway so this um, I mean, this will take us into another discussion. So I want to focus here. So the main thing is the three things he uh, points out in terms of spirit, and they are accusation, competition, and rationality. And rationality is based on uh, the concept of accumulation for the sake of accumulation, and uh, accusation and competition are two value sets. Uh, I mean, value... If there is a value, that's acquisition, but competition is sort of me mechanism in terms of values. But the main thrust of this is that there are no limits to acquisition. They, this is the rationality. And the system, system exercises the psychological, and I said, as well as structural compulsion as it matures to boundless extension. So it, in this sense, um, um, I think it... Um, sort of confirms my um, hunch that uh, he means more than just an economic system. The other two points uh, I don't want to get too uh, deep into, so I will just read if there is anything I want to add um, to the first one. So number two, um, so, so economic system is a mental attitude and then a form of organization and a technique. So it is a system based upon private initiative and exchange. Yes, that's how it starts. But as he uh, himself realizes, um, this pri private initiative and exchange, as capitalism matures, gives way to the high capitalism period, which is marked by autonomous existence of the company. And company actually becomes something which never dies because it represents the capital, the eternal boundless capital, which an individual cannot because the individual are going to die. Um, individual are just a temporary instrument, but the company is the face of capital, the mature face, because the autonomous existence of a company by the combination of all simultaneous and successive business tra transaction into a conceptual whole, an independent economic organi organism is created over and above the individuals who constitute it. Uh, we're talking about limited company. The entity appears then as an agent in each of these transactions and leads as it were a life of its own, which often exceeds in length 
length than that of human members. So a company, you know, go broke or bust, uh, um, but it, uh, as as long as it is um, solvent, um, it is going to be the face of capital and it's more than individual and life is more, you know, so I mean, the shell, for example, it exists there for two, three hundred, four hundred years. I mean, it's the air to a lot of these companies are air to companies, you know, which were created during colonial era. So um, the people and the other thing which is very important uh, with respect to company is that management become the main and the owners are just, uh, you know, the owners uh, play subservient role because the managers uh, are the one who can actually accumulate so they know how to accumulate and the third thing is um, uh, okay so the entity appears uh, then as an agent in each of these transactions and leads as it were a life of its own which often exceeds in length than its human members okay number three capitalists Te technology must ensure a high degree of productivity, the compensation of wage uh, owners, um, wage earners, which is limited to the amount needed for subsistence, can with increased productivity be produced in a shorter time, and a large proportion of the total working time remain therefore for the, for the production of profits. So, capitalist technology must ensure a high degree of productivity. Really, what is um, ultimately needed is accumulation and um, sometimes actually productivity is curbed in order if it is needed to increase profit and increase accumulation so technology is not the main source the main source is what is uh, in the first and the second the organizational source is important as well because company and the existence of company tells us that Capital is actually the something beyond individuals. Individuals are agents um, to increase uh, profits and accumulate, and if they aren't able to accumulate. And, and the other thing is the distinction between ownership and managers. The managers are the one who actually run the company because they know how to accumulate. And owners become subservient to manager, managerial roles. And man, managers are selected and deposed according to whether they can, uh, they can accumulate. So uh, and managers sort of represent... Uh, or embody the capitalist virtues or capitalist voices, whatever you want to call them, of accusation and unbounded accumulation. So this organization is important because it tells us that capitalism's uh, capitalism's uh, connection to individual. Um, ownership and to private property is not necessary it is uh, limited uh, and as capitalism matures the arena of capital accumula accumulation becomes the company and not the individuals and the third the technology i already talked to about and one thing um, so zombat um, was uh, actually uh, uh, Michael J. Byrne, he's one of, I don't know him, um, in an article in International Encyclopedia of Socialism, I mean, sorry, Encyclopedia of Social Sciences, on article capitalism, it's a good article. He claims that Zombarts is the first one who actually used the term capitalism. But I, I don't think that's true, that's true, but... Zombard was one of the main guys who actually popularized the term. 
but he understood capitalism in terms of capital, as we saw, and there, you know, the influence of Marx uh, uh, remains prominent. Um, next time we, we'll, so so that was uh, good to look a, a bit more, in a bit more detail on Zombard's view. Uh, next time probably I'll look at Marx's uh, definition of capitalism and capital, etc. And maybe even we'll compare with uh, Zombard's uh, views. Okay, thank you.